Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial where we will be rendering the pen holder in SolidWorks Visualize. So to start we are just going to import our file in and we select our assembly file and click open. We leave this check like we did in the previous tutorial and we click OK. And so now that we have our file in, we can try to rotate our view to to just get it to a view we like uh, I'm just going to rotate it to a view that I want to render in maybe something like this I'm um, just for now I may adjust the later but I'm just um, showing you the quick um, very fast the workflow that I use and so the next thing we can do is under our model tab we click on the pen holder and we make sure it's snap to flow and under the preview option enable floor shadow reflect other model reflect in other model and before I always like adjusting my scene before I go into the appearance so I'm just going to do that first so I'm just going to go under my library and under the drop down the environment and I'll find a scene that I like for this project I'm going to use the light box so I'll drag it to the viewport and as you can see it looks a lot a lot better than the Chrome Studio I was previously using and I'm going to go back into my scene delete the Chrome Studio and the light box uh, maybe I'm going to hide the environment image uh, change the background color to something about whitish gray and um, the brightness I'm going to put a value of 1.2 so that's what I'm going to do with this scene for now then I can go back into my appearance um, for this project because I have this view um, this three appearance that are in for the Sharpie that we can't really see I really don't need them so I can I'm just going to delete them and the next thing we need to do is just adjust our material so the material actually adjust uh, um, the material imports very well from SOLIDWORKS to SOLIDWORKS visualize so you really don't need to spend too much time um, really adjusting them you might just have to tweak one or two things when I work with this project earlier the only thing I really changed was the IOR value so I'm gonna do something like 1.5 1.55 and for the cap uh, the same thing I'm gonna change it to 1.55 just to reduce the glossiness and so for the black for, for the black plastic I'm going to change it to something like a orange so I'm just going to change the hue here to orange and I'm just probably going to drag this to something like that so since we already have our cap to the color our sharpie cap to the color we like so I want to change the colors for this sharpie so uh, we have like different colors so I'm just going to do control C control V um, control V control V control V control V so I have uh, one two three four five six and over here we have six Sharpie so I'm just going to go down and change um, this to the hue for this to red and the hue color for this to yellow and, and I'm just gonna drag that the hue color for this to green and the hue for this to purple and the hue for this to blue 
maybe what, what I could have done at first is actually change the hue and copy that and so I don't have to keep dragging it up because uh, let me show you what I mean because let's say I've adjusted this material if I do control C on it and control V and I copy it down the next time I want to change the color um, I really don't need to um, drag this I can just change my hue and that that box stays up where it is and I can adjust my just my hue to whatever I want so that's another fast way to do it um, so I'm just gonna delete that appearance so now what we're just gonna do is start adding our material to the capsule is add the yellow to that and we add the red and the green and we have the black so we add the purple and the blue so now we have um, everything looks nice the way we want so once you adjust your color you have the colors you want you may go back into your scene maybe rotate your scene because this part is a little was dark so maybe I, after rotating the scene you can see it's much lighter now um, so and you can mess around with the with the with the setting for the the background set um, to try to get to what you like but usually I found the default values work works a lot better too but sometimes you might have to um, tweak it but uh, for this project this value works so it looks it looks pretty it looks really good so the next thing we need to do is just under the camera we really don't need to change much um, because when you hold down the alt key and left mouse click it adjusts everything in the camera scene too so so once we've once we've adjust everything the way we want so now we just need to render it out and the file name this is gonna be your file name uh, you can change it to whatever you want and you can browse to the location you want to save the file what type of file file type and your resolution and the quality so we'll do one we will render it at 1000 passes and and if you have a CPU and a GPU I have a CPU and a GPU on my computer so I'm just gonna do hybrid and we click start render and we're just gonna let it render so I would show you the result once it's done and as always thank you for watching if you have any suggestion or ways I could have made this project better please feel free to leave a comment um, thank you for watching once again and have a nice day bye